What's up? Guys, welcome back to the Good Low TV channel. And today, we got a fire ass video for you. What are we doing today, Ken Dog? What are we doing? Changing my Mustang's oil and other bullshit. Woo! Now, before we get into anything on today's video, I have a fat ass can of Skull Gay in my pocket, and I just have this very, very uncontrollable, strong urge to uh, bike a packer. Horny tentacle pussy. <laughs> this shit make Rambo want to schluck a schlong. But uh, before we start with the bullshit today, we gotta discuss something, okay? I knew it was coming, you know, just cause I know people's attention spans are like that. Especially if it's just some random fucking dude on the internet. Why would anybody recollect information if it doesn't involve them? But yeah, the new car reveal video. You saw the top comments, right? Oh my gosh! Kenny, I swear to God on the video, you said that V6 Mustangs are useless! What a fucking retard! Okay, I did say that! But a big portion of y'all are missing out on the whole purpose that I even said anything about that. I was cruising around, chilling, the old Ford, turning bitches' heads, honking horns at proper asses. You know what I do. And then all of a sudden, I see a V6 Mustang. So I said, dude, what the hell, a V6 Mustang? That's like buying a 2x4 truck. It's useless. Everybody talks shit. No matter who you are, no matter how great you think you are, somebody, somewhere, is talking shit about you. You're just gonna have to get over it, man. I was talking that shit, you know, for comedic purposes purposes because right after I said that statement I followed up with and there's a v6 Mustang in front of me acting all cool why buy a Mustang that's a v6 that's not even a Mustang it's like buying a truck that's two-wheel drive it's useless no I'm just kidding as long as she's got four tires and a steering wheel it's awesome you should be proud of it I mean because not everybody's got a vehicle and if you ain't got a vehicle you should just be proud that you can walk I mean not everybody's got legs <laughs> So Ken Dog was trying to teach people a life lesson on that. You gotta be grateful of what you have. You can't let some dumbass hillbilly cruising around in a Ford's opinion change the way you're gonna live your life and change the way you think about things. You always need to be thankful of everything you have. I know a lot of y'all were just kidding about it too obviously. Hypocritical sarcasm is quite a hilarious topic on this channel. But yeah, this time I wasn't actually trying to be funny. I just wanted to clear that up with you. But yeah, the people that are actually mad like, huh, bought a V6 Mustang even though you said they're useless, dumbass. Suck my ball sack. I really just fondled my genitalia with an extensive amount of force that was not necessary. And I regret it. Yeah. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Before we get eaten alive by a coyote. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Forgot to tell y'all the story about the deer. Alright, I'm I'm gonna make this real quick. Okay, so I hit a deer, okay, in the Mustang. I'll show you the damage in a minute. First, I'm gonna tell you the story. So three nights ago, I picked my buddy up and we was kicking it, watching some YouTube videos, hanging out, and then it got late, so I took him home. And on our way home, y'all know that one meme song? It was my buddy Gage and he just randomly started saying the song. Pussy, 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 marijuana, wanna. Pussy, 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 marijuana. And then we started thinking of things that were related to that song. For example, vagina, 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 a pot, pot, pot. And then all of a sudden, Gage says, balls, 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 meth, meth, meth. <laughs> Dude, we laughed so hard about that shit. And as soon as we started laughing, boom, I looked up, smoked a deer, dude, going like 35 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, shit. We laughed even harder at that point. While I was driving, the deer just decided to go sicko mode and sprint right in front of my Mustang, clipped its hind legs and ass with my bumper. And this is the damage. Bumper. Pop out, bro. Ah! It's not really that big of a deal. It just came loose right there. But I'm just gonna get a screw and then just drill it in through right here. So it'll hold a little scratch right here. No biggie. Glad the damn thing didn't go through the windshield and kick me right in the face. But that is how I hit a deer in the stain. All right, folks, it's that time of year again. It's becoming jacket season. Well, I don't know, can't say that. Cause lately it's been 90 degrees and 40 degrees the next day. It's all Trump's fault cause he's a logical thinker and not an emotional thinker. But it's about to get cold again, and when it's cold, I just don't want to skate, man. Damn it, boy. He just spooled up that whirly boy for us. I wanted to come out here one more time, and I wanted to get it on film for y'all because a lot of y'all been wanting to see that. So yeah, let me try to land some shit.
Manny the Pat. See if I can't ollie up that piece of shit. Well, I didn't land all my tricks. At least I got some funny ass falls in there. Well, I'm gonna go home now, grab me something to eat, and we gotta change this damn oil. There really ain't no telling what that dude had in here before. Damn Dollar General oil or some shit. Gotta treat this baby right with some pins oil. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I just edited what I recorded today. I'm about to go change this oil real quick. And when I'm done, I'm gonna try to get the rest of that gummy bullshit out. I'm gonna get a blow dryer and see if I can't hit it with a blow dryer, see if it'll heat up, turn into liquid again, and maybe it'll be easy to just scoop it right out but i'm gonna pull the mustang around front real quick bam it's a lot more gooder seems good enough to me that's good hope this bastard ain't too low to the ground beautiful contact on the pinch wheel Better being a pussy than a dumbass. See what size this thing is. 15. Locate the oil filter on this bastard. Oh, <laughs> right there. Get a rag first. I'm gonna actually attempt to change the oil without getting it all over me. Do y'all ever see that one damn TikTok where they're like, you may be the fastest man in the world, but you're not fast enough to take a drain plug out with getting oil on yourself. Really, dude? Are you serious? Have you ever changed oil before? All you gotta do is back it all the way out and then pull. Oh, fuck, I dropped the drain plug in, but I didn't get oil on my hand. I'm about to, though. Yeah, I don't know why the hell he made that TikTok. I guess so people could, like, try to prove him wrong. That's, that's probably why he made it. Let me go ahead and crack this oil filter loose. Just hope and pray to God some retard didn't fucking put this on. Oh, it's so loose. It's like finger damn tight. Let me go ahead and get the oil on filter. And your boy wasn't lying when he said he was going to treat it like a queen with some pins oil. Motorcraft oil filter, obviously. You got to put motorcraft in your forwards, people. And some 520. That funnel's filthy. Cruising down the street in my 6 phone. That's better. Put this drain plug back in. Give her a ump for two. <clears throat> One more for shits and gigs. Yeah. Slide this shit over here. Trying to inspect it for oil leaks, and 100% uh, there's an oil leak coming from somewhere, but it ain't near bad enough to fix. I guess we're just gonna have to get oil on our hands with this damn filter. Beauty. Always make sure you got an O-ring. Get you a little dab of oil, put it around the seal. Make sure you tighten it with all your might. So that way the next time you change your oil, you can know if you're getting stronger or not while you're in the gym. <clears throat> That's that. That's what he put in it. But uh, this is what I've been doing to combat the gummy cock shit. I got an old floor mat from the Ford. I've just been putting it over here. Yeah, it's it's crystal now. Hard as a rock. But I mean, I'm getting seat covers for it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But we're still gonna try the blow dryer method in a minute. No sense of hiding the license plate since my dumb ass accidentally showed it on the reveal video. I blocked it out every time it was shown except for when I was putting the Pentmobile sticker on. I have no idea how I missed that. But look, bro, what's back here? Two half-opened ATF. Hmm, that's pretty silly because the dude I bought it from, when I was looking at it, I was checking the fluids, checking everything on it, and I said, where's the transmission dipstick? He said, oh, it doesn't have one. And I said, no, it has one for sure. And then I looked for it, found it, and he was like, oh, oh, okay. But if he said that there's no transmission dipstick, why the hell would he have transmission fluid in his trunk? And two quarts of it. Makes me think that he he was trying to hide a transmission leak. So just to be safe, I'm gonna check it real quick. Reverse. Neutral. It's 
It's been sitting for a little bit, so the transmission is cool, and on the cool side of the dipstick, it was full. So in a few days after it's warm, I'm gonna do the same thing, see if the level's still good, and if not, well, I guess the transmission's leaking. Definitely not slipping, and the fluid's not burning or anything. I just don't know why he'd tell me that there's no tranny dipstick, but yet there's two quarts of tranny fluid in the trunk. Doesn't make sense. Let's try to get this gummy cock shit out. No, my mom's got a damn blow dryer in here somewhere. What the hell? You got a damn fancy ray gun blow dryer. I guess this thing's a damn thunder gun attachment. Hopefully this works. Oh yeah. Yes. The ray gun. Gummy cock shit. about as good as we're gonna get it get some seat covers i'm gonna stop by the p.o box see if there's anything in it well nobody sent me any packages yet but i did get a letter so i'll go ahead and read it mm -hmm, hell yeah he had a school project where he had to write to somebody he admires and he wrote to me hell yeah appreciate that jake y'all want to send something to the p.o box preferably a package to open whether it be amazon or something you throw together at home or somebody draws me That'd be badass. Really want a picture to hang in my office, painting of me or something. If any of y'all want to do that, send it to the P.O. box. It's uh, right here, and I'll leave it in the description for you. There's the piece of shit. I could put some JB Weld on that shit, but why? why? Why would I do that? Screw that. I need to take this off before I scrap it. Probably gonna take it to get scrapped tomorrow. Put the hood back on, because the air mattress, every time it rains, it just gets full of water and then sinks down. So it's not really much of a use. But anyways, guys, I'ma hop off here. Gonna get this video edited up, do some boring adult shit, like filing my receipts. But if you like today's video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned with the bullshit. Follow me on Instagram, Goodlow TV. Add me on Snapchat, RNTV underscore 15. And I'll catch you next time on the Goodlow TV channel. Later.